If you're a structuralist and a new user to Dramatica, you might want to start with a story guide. The story guide was designed as the quickest way to get from concept to completion of a finished treatment with Dramatica at the same time as learning all the key story points and concepts available to you. There are two versions, the quick start version with 50 questions and the advanced story guide with 250 questions. Now the quick start questions are all included also in the advanced story guide, so any work you do here will also show up here. Therefore, I recommend you start with the quick start path and after you've worked out your story to this degree of detail, you can then move on to the advanced story guide and fill out more details if you desire. Now the questions in the story guide are designed to be linear, step by step, from the beginning through the middle to the end, through all stages of story creation and development. There's eight sections here, and they'll begin by creating a story structure. You'll end up with questions like main character resolve, does your main character end up at the end of the story changed or steadfast? Are they the same person they started out as, like Dr. Richard Kimball in The Fugitive, or have they changed, like Scrooge in A Christmas Carol? There's all kinds of help buttons here that can give you a lot of support material to make the right decision. The definition button, you'll need to click on some item to see its definition, but then you can always try the other one and see how that defines instead. And get contextual information about how this term would be used in short sample dramatic scenarios, and even look at other stories that come with Dramatica as examples to see which ones have steadfast characters and which ones have changed characters, and that'll help you make your structural choice. Although the story guide path is great for new users because it takes you handheld step by step through the whole process of going from concept to completion of a finished treatment, it does have some limitations. To see an example of this, let's go down to another kind of question that's asking us to choose our objective story domain, which is simply the overall background or scenario against which our story takes place. Well, we have a choice of universe, physics, psychology, or mind. And if we click on the definition button, we can see that universe is a situation. Physics is an activity or endeavor. So, if we have a story about a nation that's waging war, then we want a physics story. If we have a story about a nation in a state of war, then it's probably about universe. You need to pick one in the story guide. There is no opportunity to say, I'm not sure. You've got to pick one or you won't get down to a single story form structure. That's why it's the quickest path. But, you may not really be sure. So, if you can't make up your mind, you want to go to these same questions in the Dramatica query system, and there you'll be able to click as many as you want. Now, you can click them here as many as you want, but by the time you get to the end of the story guide, you won't have a complete structure. In the query system, you can go from one area to another to another, different kinds of question lists, and when you answer enough questions, Dramatica's story engine will start limiting out, graying out the choices that no longer work out of the options you left. So, that way, you can choose other items that are important to you, other items you're sure about, and have Dramatica make the final decision about the options that you left a little bit more open. Can't do that in the story guide, though. So, if you want a little more versatility in creating your structure, go to the query system instead.